So I finally took my talents as your head chef, Chef Cruz, to the wreck. And let me tell you, the cooking session was on. I'm able, with this build, I'm able to create from the mid-range at will. Score from the three-point line using creative shots and my step-back jumpers like you know I love to. I'm able to dribble, play, make, and at the same time finish at the basket. You're seeing a cooking session right here. And this is my first game in the rec. And what did I do? I dropped a cool 27 points on 90%. Three-point shooting and 80% shooting overall. A legitimate three-level threat with the ability to shot create drop dimes and finish against taller defenders with a variety of layups and there's a bit of a difference between the previous version of this build right now i'm focusing instead on the mid-range but still keeping my three-point rating high enough everything else is pretty much the same with a few tweaks here and there i also lowered my layup rating but you know the priority for this build is that hall of fame space creator hall of fame speed booster hall of fame triple strike and all of the ways that i can shoot and shot create off the bounce hall of fame mid magician is the cornerstone of this build and as you can see here i'm able to create and as you know as your head chef able to shot create and drop a little sauce here and there also have the flexibility to be a catch and shoot shooter finish at the basket at will look at this shot creation off the bounce he thinks he's got me clamped boom counter into a nice scoop layup so every time I'm on the court and my teammates allow me to cook, you best know that we're definitely going to cook. And while this build is not built for defense, really my, my basketball IQ and you know, just a little bit of basketball knowledge here and there, playing the game the right way, knowing the tendencies of my opponent, I'm able to defend at a decent enough level. And as you can see, if, if, if I'm able to clamp you down and you're supposed to be a shot creator, man, rethink a few things as and the, the pass rating is not too high i think i max out at a 75 pass accuracy but once again with your hall of fame speed booster your gold blow by and dimer and, and a decent enough pass accuracy rating i'm able to create for my teammates and play basketball the right way so i'm going to show you some clips from my first game in the rec and i really didn't know what to expect it's not a game mode that I play because I, I, I'm not I'm not really high on how the community plays. And this guy has a 94 rating. Seems like he plays the game decent enough, but those stats are you know kind of yikes. So I, I was conservative in in my first in my first quarter here. As you can see, we are it's a low scoring game. Both teams struggled to shoot. I've actually taken the route here of being a creator for my teammates. Try to establish that I'm a good teammate that I'm willing to pass but you know it was quite the struggle man i was distributing in that first quarter and let me tell you man if you didn't watch my shooting video you better do it because my shot has translated to an online setting and i'm seeing a lot of guys struggling to shoot online but as i said this build is only as effective as i am if i'm aggressive in shooting the ball so in the second quarter i decided i wanted to turn things up be a little bit more aggressive what i did here is presented myself to my teammate instead of just standing in the corner created that cut and look I created a lot of confusion for the defense opening up my my teammate at the wing forcing defenders to react creating advantage basketball and these two guys i don't know what they did they, they just kind of left me i just relocated to the three-point line so it's it's your ability to read gaps move in between spaces pass at the right time and relocate that will really help you in these situations because if i just stood in the corner i wouldn't have created offense for myself and here I'm, I'm, as i'm showing you even against a guy that has chased down i'm able to hit that scoop layup i'm able to hit shots off the catch and if you didn't watch my shooting tutorial this was this was what i was talking about establish the catch set your feet and shoot as you can see that 85 three ball rating more than enough and these are why i selected these badges man that's a simple speed booster and triple strike combo as you can see right there and with gold blow by i'm just really able to get to the basket at will and finish at the basket with that pro touch and as you can see, my play style in the rec is really not to force things. The ball has energy. 
the ball finds people at the right time if you pursue good ball movement as you can see right here if i didn't give that ball up that defender right there would press up against me but instead i give my guy the ball in the corner the defense goes to him i'm wide open he has to give that to me and as you can see right here this is just good basketball iq man not the best defender in terms of ratings but my basketball iq is going to carry the day my teammate took a gamble here now i'm defending two on one I wait just a split second for him to commit towards the basket. See, I didn't want to commit too early, otherwise a corner was open. I give him a defensive ride animation straight to my help defense, and what do you know? Great stop. So we end the first half as the player of the game. After a slow start, after trying to, you know, pop our, our offense up, being a good distributor, we end the first half scoring 16 points, 2 assists, and look at that sky-high field goal percentage, man. Some clown went into the comments the other day to tell me that, you know, practicing offline ain't going to translate online. Well, let, let me tell you what. My shooting is immaculate. Right now, I can't miss as long as I get to my spots. And as you can see, this build is a knockdown shooter. And as you can see, man, nothing beats good basketball IQ. I was in position to help my teammate, forcing that, that guy to just pass the ball off of that, you know, what was supposed to be an easy three-pointer and got the stop. So as you can see, we're able to cook. We play basketball the right way, create and finish with sauce i'm so excited for for the, for the di different directions i can take this series man uh, wreck with randoms is definitely an experience but can you imagine my first game in the wreck ever not not just in nba 2k24 but this is my first time playing wreck ever i'm able to be successful drop 27 points shoot nearly 90 percent from three and 80 percent overall and let me tell you, man, that's just good basketball IQ. So here are the six for the build. A lot of these are Steph Curry, especially my jump shot. I'm, I'm very familiar with Jeff, Steph Curry, the Chef Curry's jump shot. And it, it really works for me. I got a lot of the Steph Curry hop shot, cr shot creation package, that hop jumper, the Iron Fox spin jumper. And I got a good mix of different dribble styles that I like in terms of my sick dribble animations. But take a look, see if these fit with your play style. Now let me tell you man that was a hell of a de debut wasn't it man for the first time in direct to be able to lead my team in scoring you know create for my teammates play the right way it was a great feeling but i got more wreck stories to tell you man um so this is only the beginning i'm excited for this journey i know a lot of you guys wanted to see me play in direct so there you go first experience in direct was pretty fun wasn't it